Okay, so one of the most important skills in math, and especially algebra, is factoring. And what we're looking at right here is a factoring problem. And the problem is negative x squared plus 9 over x plus 3. And we want to factor this. And this can be factored, but a lot of students will look at this problem and conclude that they cannot factor this. Actually, this is not too difficult to factor. There's two different things we could do here to factor this, but a lot of students kind of get stuck in one particular step. But let's see how well you do with this problem. So if you can figure this out, if you can factor this, we'll go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, then of course we'll walk through exactly how to solve this step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so here is the problem one more time. And there is no time limit here. Certainly, you want to try to you know, get a piece of paper and pencil. You don't want to try to do this in your brain. So negative x squared plus 9 over x plus 3 is equal to what? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is negative x plus 3. We could also write this as 3 minus x. So both expressions are correct. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely deserve a happy face and a plus a 100% and a certificate of excellence for being a certified professional expert in the area of factoring polynomials, because that's basically what we have right here. And this is the part of the problem where a lot of students are going to get stuck. But uh, this is a rational expression, which is effectively a polynomial in the numerator and denominator. Very, very common type of problem that uh, those of you that are studying algebra will need to know how to do. And uh, let's go and get into the solution right now, because this is not that difficult. All right, so here is the situation. So this is our problem, but a lot of students wish the problem was this right here. So of course, uh, this is the problem that we are actually trying to factor. But let's take a look at a very similar looking problem. And again, a lot of students are saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I wish the problem was this problem because they recognize right up here in the numerator that this is the difference of two squares. So let's go and review that real quick. So we have a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this is a critical formula to understand in factoring. And if you don't understand factoring, I'm going to give you some uh, specific suggestions on how you can improve. But hopefully all of you out there, especially you algebra students, know the difference of two squares. Again, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b uh, times a minus b. So let's go ahead and just see this example problem real quick, what our a and b is. So we have x squared minus 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. So our a is basically our x, so that's x squared, and our uh, b is 3 squared. So everywhere we see a, we're going to replace that with an x, and everywhere we see b, we're going to replace that with a 3. So to factor a squared, um, or sorry, x squared minus 9, that is going to be equal to x plus 3 times x minus 3. All right, so let's go and actually do that right now and see why this is so awesome uh, to use this formula in this situation. So x squared minus 9 is equal to x plus 3 times x minus 3. And this is all going to be over x plus 3. Okay, so right here we have like factors in the numerator and denominator. So these two can cross cancel and we simplify this down to x minus three. All right, so a nice easy illustration of the difference of two squares. And a lot of students are looking at this right here and they're saying, well, you must do two math, man. I like to use this, but this is a sum. It's not a difference. We're not subtracting, we're adding. So what can we do? Is there anything we can kind of, um, any tricks or kind of uh, tactics that we can take in order to factor this? Well, indeed, there is. Actually, there's two, and you're going to want to know both uh, little techniques uh, because uh, they both come in very handy. But let's go and talk about the first one right now. All right, so the first thing that we can do right here is simply change the order of the numerator. In other words, we have negative x squared plus 9 
Well, how about we write this as 9? Okay, this is a positive 9 uh, minus x squared. All right, so this is the same thing as 9 uh, plus a negative x squared. But we want to think of this as a difference, so we can use the difference of two squares. All right, so 9 minus x squared over x plus 3. Okay, so let's go ahead and erase this right here so we can concentrate on this problem. All right, so let's go ahead and factor this again. The difference of two squares, a squared minus b squared, is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Now here, our a is going to be 3 squared, right? So 3 squared is a squared. So we have to be very careful here. And this is a little bit confusing, but let's go and walk through the steps. So to factor the numerator, we're going to have 3 minus x times 3 plus x, okay? And that's going to be all over x plus 3. Now, right here, these may not look, uh, let me go and put a parenthesis, these uh, factors right here may not look perfectly alike, but they are indeed the same. All right, so 3 plus x is the same thing as uh, 3 plus x right here, right? Or x plus 3 is the same thing as 3 plus x. So these are equivalent, so we can cross cancel these, and we're left with uh, 3 minus x, or let's go back up to the answer, 3 minus x or negative x, we can kind of think of this uh, this way, plus a negative, so this is the same thing as negative x plus 3. And it's important that you recognize both answers because you just never know uh, these things can show up on a uh, multiple choice exam, and the answer you're looking at may not be the, uh, the one that, uh, you know, you may have the right answer, but it's maybe not a part of the multiple choice. So anyways, factoring is one of these things that tend to confuse a lot of students. All right, so let's take a look at another way that we can factor this, and that is by factoring out a negative one. Okay, this is definitely a little trick that you want to keep in mind. So here I have negative x squared plus nine. Well, if I factor out a negative one uh, in the numerator, uh, let's just think about this for a second. If I multiply negative one back in, uh, to the, uh, these terms right here. So negative 1 times x squared gets me back to negative x squared. Negative 1 times this negative 9 gets me back to positive 9. So it is the same thing. But what's the advantage of doing this? Well, here I do have this lovely difference of two squares, x squared minus 9 over x plus 3. And of course, we can go ahead and use the difference of two squares right here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that right now. But before we take that step, I need you to take the step of quickly subscribing to my YouTube channel. I definitely need your support, and I'm not afraid to ask for help. And if you're struggling in math, you should get uh, really comfortable with this word. You just can't learn this stuff all on your own. Okay, so uh, it's important, though, that you know who to ask uh, help for. Okay, so if you're a student, you definitely want to start with your teacher. Now, a lot of you might be saying, hey, Mr. You too, bad man, you know, um, I don't like my teacher. Uh, they don't teach me well. They, you know, uh, they're the reason why I'm watching your video right now. Listen, I get that, but you still want to have a good rapport with your teacher. Not only that, your teacher can tell you or should be able to tell you exactly where your strong and weak areas are at. So you say, hey, teacher, uh, what am I good at? What am I bad at? And of course, they should be able to review all your tests, quizzes, etc. But if you have a list of your weak areas, then what you could do is find someone or something uh, that you can just start working on these uh, things on your own, okay? But you need to get help. Just don't struggle because I can guarantee you can be successful in math. But anyways, what I'm trying to do is reach as many people as possible. And the only way I can do that is to have people like yourself to say, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'll hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on here. So we could factor out this negative one, and by doing this, we can easily use the difference of two squares right here, right? So x squared minus nine is equal to x plus three times x minus uh, three. And of course, we have this x plus three down here in uh, the denominator, and we have these lovely like factors. We could cross cancel these. So we're left with what in the numerator? A negative one times x minus three. So negative one times x minus three. And you don't want to leave your answer like this. You would want to go ahead and distribute this negative 1 back in. So negative 1 times x gives us negative x. And negative 1 times this negative 3 gives us a positive 3. So we have this as an answer, or you could rewrite it as this, 3 minus x. But it's more um, uh, typical to have your variable first. But again, uh, both expressions here 
um, are equivalent and are correct. All right, now for those of you that really struggle in factoring, you're definitely not alone. So don't feel bad about it. And I can tell you right now, when it comes to uh, you know algebra and beyond, algebra, algebra two, pre-calculus, whatever the case is, if I had to say one of the top uh, things that students struggle with, it is factoring polynomials. Okay, factoring is a big, big topic. You have to you have to know how to factor the greatest common factor. Then you there's a lot to know uh, trinomials, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So don't feel um, you know, uh, bad or like, hey, I don't understand this stuff. Well, you're not alone. Again, uh, there's a lot of students that don't get this stuff. But let me give you some specific uh, suggestions on how you can improve because there is a lot to know when it comes to factoring. Let's just do a quick, quick uh, review. So when it comes to factoring, you got to understand how to factor out the GCF. You got to understand how to factor trinomials. You have to understand special factoring rules like the ones we just looked at, looked at right there. You have to understand something called group factoring and on and on. And there's a lot involved here, okay? So again, uh, you need to work on this because you're not going to be able to handle, you know, pretty much, um, you know, the rest of what you're going to learn in algebra. Because if you're at a point in a course where you're studying factoring and you're struggling, you're going to need those skills to be able to solve equations and do all sorts of other things. So I would classify this as an algebra emergency if you are struggling with factoring. All right, so how can you learn this stuff? Well, the best approach is just to go straight to my Algebra 1 and or Algebra 2 courses. I'm going to leave links to those in the description of this video. Also, I have a ton of videos on factoring on my YouTube channel as well. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.